The first night when he and I actually got time on the group date, we spoke about our biggest fears, and his was that someone could come in here inauthentically. So it was difficult to see him sit here and communicate that and feel that way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Zach came in and had this very honest, powerful conversation with all of us. He was raising concern about another girl's intentions of why they're here, and he made it very intentional to grab Anastasia. Everybody's kind of like questioning what the heck's going on. I have a question for you. OK. Are you really here for me? Yes, I'm here for you. Really? Yeah, I'm here to connect with you and get to know you. That is not uh, at all what I've heard. Like, what I've heard, you're not here for, like, a relationship. And it's for Instagram followers or something, and I'm shocked. Like, I, that's why I'm, like, a little bit cut off guard. I'm shocked. Yeah. Like, truly. I'm here because I'm at a point in my life where I want to be with my partner, and I want them to be my best friend, and I want to build a life. I don't know where, like, where that would come from then. Like, do you have any idea? I mean, I've literally talked with the girls about, like, brands that I work with, and I told them I'd connect them, and they all were asking me about it, so I told them I would share my contacts with them. That's literally the extent of our conversations. Yeah, I, I mean, I have to ask, because, like, I'm, I take no, this I so Seriously? And I know that, and I appreciate like, you communicating with me because, like, yeah. that's really upsetting. It's like, this is like my number one fear is like someone that's like here and says the right things to where I get fooled at the end of this. And like, I wanted to like bring it up to you, but it's a little alarming that it was even brought up in the first place because that just doesn't come out of thin air. I'm very proud of like what I've done in my life and my career, which is why I shared that information. So, like, it's really upsetting that like that was twisted in like a negative way. And I don't know, I, I think I just have to go and think about it right now. Okay. I need to breathe. Okay. I that. I'll see you, okay? Okay. I'm really hurt because, like, why would anyone say that or do that? I just don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I wouldn't come here and pull myself through this stress and, like, vulnerability if I didn't want to like find my best friend and find my partner. With Zach, we finally got to a place where we we're like, oh my God, this is fun. Like, I'm really enjoying you. But like now there's doubt in his mind and like, it's really hard to get rid of. How'd that go? Tell us about it. Are you okay? I feel like I've been real with y'all from the jump. There's an elephant in the room, so I wanted to address it. When I did speak to him about the situation today, I did mention other things just because he was asking me kind of about Anastasia and the vibe that she was giving off in the house. And I told him I didn't hear it directly come out of your mouth, so I don't know if it's to be a fact, but I've been told you said something in regards to well, the 14 of us who are still here will at least have now have 50K Instagram followers. I don't know how that would like just come up in conversation. I just wish that was like brought up to me first because like that was definitely like taken out of context. I was simply asked about it. I spoke my piece in the fact that I did not hear the full conversation and he knows that. Maybe you can clarify, why would you say like 14 girls at this point would get 50K? When I was talking about that, I was very transparent. People were asking questions, I was answering them. So I, I don't know how that got twisted 